The dictionary meaning of the word intuition is a feeling that guides a person to act in a certain way without fully understanding why. When doctors, firefighters or pilots make split second decisions, we say they were acting on their intuition. Gary Klein has done extensive research on such naturalistic decision making. One of the famous examples from his book Sources of Power is when firemen went in to extinguish an ordinary kitchen fire. The firemen were blasting water into the kitchen from the living room when their commander told them to get out immediately. Trained to follow orders, the crew did so, though a little perplexed, as it seemed like an ordinary fire they could tame. A few minutes later, the living room collapsed. It turned out that it was not an ordinary kitchen fire, but a huge fire in the basement. The commander did not even know there was a basement and based his decision on his intuition. He later explained that the fire was too persistent, it felt too hot, yet the fire was quiet. So he intuitively sensed something was wrong. Psychology explains intuition as rapid pattern recognition that is based on extensive knowledge and experience. Malcolm Gladwell's book Blink explores cognitive thin slicing in depth. But you could also think of intuition the way Osho explains it, as the highest rung of the ladder of consciousness. Osho considers instinct to be the first rung. It is the biological. Intellect is the second rung. It is the rational, step-by-step -step logical thinking. And then comes intuition, the leap. This brings us nicely to the question we had posed. Do you agree with our statement that a thinking spirit is ever exploring, never concluding? It seems counterintuitive. If you don't derive conclusions, how do you practically function? Well, it is about drawing conclusions in a given frame of reference, but then redefining the frame of reference itself to continue exploring. Take physics as an example. There is classical physics and Newton's laws of motion are conclusions that help us greatly in our normal day-to-day -day life. But change the frame of reference to the very large, the universe, and you will need to understand the laws of relativity. Change the frame of reference once again to the very small, the subatomic, and quantum physics comes into play. This progress in physics became possible because of the inquisitive nature of human spirit, of ever exploring and concluding only for a given frame of reference.